those injuries, particularly Vaha? Um, Wilfried, um, still a couple of weeks before he can start training with the team. Uh, Wardy uh, will start uh, training with the, uh, with the team on, uh, on next Monday. And uh, Maka is still uh, progressing well. He had another really good week um, with the team, so he will be part of the squad uh, traveling. Absolutely lovely. Thank you. Um, I wanted to ask you, I guess in terms of you're coming up against Brentford, who've had a very good run of games, they're 10 games unbeaten, um, and they seem to have a really good form at the moment, reassuring that Crystal Palace did manage to get a point out of the last game with them. Um, what assessment do you make of that team and how do you think they'll challenge coming up to Kenson? I think it's always difficult to play against Brentford when you're looking at the individual quality and how they are organised as a team. It's always challenging to, to play against them, but every time we face them, I think we performing, we competed against them and this time it's not going to be different. Um, they're in a good form, yes, but we played recently avec, against uh, good teams who had some really good runs and uh, and I think we competed quite really well against those teams. So it's about ourselves, how we can be well disciplined, where we can be competing against them and uh, and play the way that I strongly believe we can do. Lovely. And so lastly, I wanted to ask, is there a possibility of seeing an Albert Le Congress starting this weekend? I think it's a bit too... Um, he's been training well since he's been with us and... Uh, you know, I still have until tomorrow to really decide and look at the starting eleven. But I'm happy with what he's been doing lately in training. Lovely, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Hi, Patrick. Good afternoon. Hi. Good afternoon. Do you feel like after a few runs of you know, frustrating results that a big performance, mm -hmm. a big coming, a big win is coming? We are working hard and working well for it. You know, I think uh, when you're looking at the last couple of games that we had, um, we competed well against the opposition team. Obviously, we need to do more to win games and to do more is about being more ruthless. I think in both areas of, uh, of the boxes is about creating those chance opportunity that we had and we have to score those goals. I think the chances are there. When you look at where Palace are in the table, do you feel it's a fair reflection of the performances so far this season? And what's the biggest improvement you want to see? The biggest improvement that I will want to see is us scoring more goals. I think uh, the opportunities and the chances are there. I think we created opportunities, we created chances, but we don't take those chances. And in the game of football, you have to take those chances and to try to to score goals and um, and I think it's a mindset has to be more more ruthless in, in front of the goals with more determination. We have to improve that quality as well. I think when we're in the last third, we've been making a lot of wrong decisions and uh, and that side of the game has to improve as well. Yes, it's in a way game, but how important is that connection? with the fans and having their support tomorrow? I don't have any doubt about that. That is not a, a question that's coming through my mind. Uh, the fans have always been excellent at home and away. We always have a really good support away from home. And I'm sure that will be the same again. When you look at Brentford, the way they operate as a club, what do you think is helping them to be so consistent and so impressive? I think it's stability um, and having a really clear idea about how they want to play the game and the profile of the players that they bring in to play that style of football. And I think there is a really clear idea about what they want to achieve on and off the field. And we look at Thomas Frank, the leader of the football club. How impressive have you been with what he brought to Brentford and how consistent he has been? Yeah, I think, you know, when you have a stability, it always gives you hope to perform and manage to get the best of all the players that you have around. And um, of course, yes, he's been doing really well since he's been there. And we look at Brentford tomorrow, what do you think could be the biggest threats that they can present? I think as a team is, uh, you know, the number of crosses they put inside the box, the number of people they have inside the box, how they compete in every single ball, the first, the second, the third one. 
Uh, there is a lot of intensity in the way they play the game, so we have to be ready and up.